Oh. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Right, okay. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Oh, man. I need to grief him. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. You don't know what to do oh, next. Piss off. Come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Okay, here we go. Firstly, dude, personal space. When you enter a crime scene. Oh, hello. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Okay, uh... Nice day for it. Let's have a look. Doc? Detective? Hello, Doc. Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. Oh, Take my gosh. Very bad way. Uh... Any sign of the guy? Not unless what if he spontaneously exploded? What do you mean, not unless he's in the trunk of the car? Have you not looked in the fucking boot? Oh. Uh. That one, please. Circumstantial. Circumstantial? Okay. Uh, I'll put that down. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Okay. He staged his own death. This is what I'm. This is what I think it is. He staged his own death using the pig. That's actually pig's blood in the car. That is disgusting. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Useful. Uh, oh, what's something over there? What's something over here. So we've got. So we've got a wallet. Is that? With. Oh my God! What a horrible face. Is that Galetta? Happier times, I guess. Okay. What's this? Mrs. 32 Black. years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? I don't know. Let's put that down. Look at his glasses. Uh, oh, hang on. What's that? Oh. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired, by the look of it. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Ooh. Murder weapon. <gasps> Insta heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Remember that van? Van before? What is this, some kind of joke? How about five bucks? Oh, that was it. That was a joke. Okay, let's talk to the stiff. Not the stiff. The witness dude. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. 
And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Okay. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Sure, sure. You look pretty truthful, dude. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. All right, let's look at your face. Wow. You're fairly stoic, aren't you, dude? You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. Okay. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? <sighs> oh. Oh, what have you done? I think you've done something, haven't you? Mm. Uh, ooh, uh, lie or... Do you want the patrolman oh, to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Good man. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Yeah, you're telling the truth on that one, aren't you? When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. You're a nice man. You Thank you for to, your I time. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. All right. Come on. Yeah, that's right. You run. You can drive. Black. So where do you want to go? It's okay. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. What on earth makes you think I am? Just a minute. She's reading a letter. She's obviously not distraught. Hello? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Hello, Mrs. Black. Oh, Your husband drives I sat down rather quickly. Mrs. Black. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. 
when you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? I'm going to rummage through all your cupboards and Anything steal everything. Secure my husband's safety. Okay. Well, let's check the place out. Uh, oh. Where do we start? Oh my god. Uh, just do a quick sweep of here. Oh, hello. What's that? What's, what's set that off? Oh, there we go. Am I actually picking this plane up and looking at it? There's nothing on it. No, there's genuinely nothing on it. I don't want that. Thank you. Fucking hell, we're looking at all the planes. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Why did you say that with a... F Oh, am I picking up everything? Not sure this means much. Junk. Can't say that. Okay. Oh, uh, what's that over there? Did I just imagine? Like, Have a good something? look around. There's got to be something in here. <gasps> oh no. We're done. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, it's him. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Who the shit yes, is Courtney? He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. Oh, it's a man. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull. It, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Simon! You're washing. Okay. Okay, there's nothing here. They're walking. Oh, hello. What were you doing in there? Oh. What's that? Oh. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Oh, I did actually want to further investigate that. Whoops. Ah. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address. Okay. Game one. Wee. Let's go round. Oh, yes. I want to go in here. There's nothing in here. Oh, no, there is. Oh, uh, come back. Ah. Oh, I get to pick. Oh. Optimistic call. It's an iron. What's this? Doesn't look like anything. So why am I... Okay, I don't want either of those. Come on. So we're going... Out. Uh, I don't know which way around it is. Let's try this way. Oh. Is that it? Is that... Is that... Oh. Insta heat. Are you just leaving the thing half finished? You are not going to repair it. What the Christ? Uh. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. I don't think it's. No, I do want to put it there. Wow, that installed quickly. 
Did you see that? It's like you're learning how to be a plumber. <laughs> this is part of L.A. Noir. Learn how to be a plumber in case you lose your job as a cop. There's a piece missing. That's the piece. Yeah, the murder weapon. Same one that killed him at a different place. A little closer to home. I reckon. I've already said this. I reckon because he bought a pig two days before. I reckon he's killed the pig and faked his suicide. He's faked his death. That's what I reckon. Yeah. Because oh, there's no body, there's just blood. Like, a lot of blood. Ooh! Don't think this is anything. You don't think this is anything? Okay. Okay, let's go and talk to the woman, see if she remembers anything. And then we'll bugger off and, uh... Ooh! Yes, I want to use a telephone, thank you.